Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Laplace Transform Tutor. Let's solve our final little differential equation here. Again, the purpose of these isn't really so much about the differential equation part, it's just to give you practice with the purpose of Laplace transforms and also the mechanics of, of actually doing it. Uh, so here we have a third derivative, our first one. Third derivative of the function x minus four times the first derivative is equal to e to the t. That's our differential equation. And because it's a third derivative, we have three initial conditions. x of 0 is 5, x prime of 0 is 9, x double prime of 0 is also 9. Okay? So we're going to follow exactly the same strategy. We'll take the Laplace transform of the third derivative here, minus 4 times the Laplace transform of the first derivative, uh, and then we'll have a Laplace transform on the right-hand side. All right? And so here's where we have to just make sure we don't make any mistakes. This is the third derivative. So it's going to be S cubed Laplace transform of x minus S squared x of 0 minus S to the first power x prime of 0. And then we have the S disappears, so we have x double prime of 0. All of this comes about because of this, all right? And then down below, I could cram it in here, but I don't really want to do that. Down below, we're going to have minus 4. I'll open a parenthesis. Here we have, uh, since it's a first derivative, s times Laplace of x minus x of 0. That's what goes in there. And on the right-hand side, we're taking the Laplace transform of a regular exponential, 1 over s minus lambda. In this case, lambda is 1, so it's 1 over s minus 1. So that's what we have. And then what we're going to do is we're going to distribute everything in, put our initial conditions in, and simplify. So we will have s cubed Laplace of x. Then we have minus x of 0 is 5, so it would be 5s squared. This x prime is 9, so it would be negative 9s. This is also 9, so it would be negative 9. Here we're going to distribute the 4 in, so negative 4s Laplace of x. Here we'll distribute this negative 4 in, so it would be negative 4 times negative 1 times whatever x of 0 is, which is 5. Right? And then again, I have to put this here so I don't cram myself, s minus 1. So the negative 4 goes here, the negative 1 is here, and then this is just what we're substituting in. I could do some of this, you know, math in my head or whatever, but I, I like showing exactly what's going on. 